Well, this morning we want to start a little study of the meaning of the terms we associate with knowledge. So I selected two terms that represent perhaps the polarized opposites of learning. They are knowledge and wisdom. Now knowledge is something we all know about. It is conveyed to us through the public school system. We live it every day. Everyone who comes into the world practically is trained into some phase of it. And this idea of knowledge, however, is very surface, is very surface. It is not death, it is not wisdom, it is not insight. It is the communication of the common decisions of people. It is the way we have decided to teach our children. And what we are going to teach them is the knowledge that we know. And the knowledge that we know, I might mention, is not very good. We have a great deal of education, but what are we teaching? Are we teaching the individual to grow, or are we trying to train him for a job? And in most cases, knowledge today is training for a job. It is not only training for a job, but tra training for a very impermanent job. By the time we get the fellow trained, the job isn't there. Knowledge is, for the most part, passing. It does not have any, have any solid foundation in eternity. Knowledge is a way of looking at something, a particular way. This way may change any day. This also is a way of approximating our understanding of what is wise and what is not wise. So knowledge, we have to say, is a surface thing. It is adapted to the whims of the hour. It is adjusted to the needs of the moment. And this is what we get when we go to public school. We do not get from the schooling any broad depth of understanding concerning human nature. We do not learn any high ideals about the destiny of man changing the world in which we live. We are changing the surface of the earth. We are crowding communities. We are endangering the basic utilities of life. We keep right on going, trying to continue a policy that is gradually cutting life out from under us. So this is what we have to think about. Therefore, what we commonly call knowledge is simply a story of doing what we always have done.